Yeah, that's much better. Yeah? Other than the chlorine gas that's pouring out the end of it from the brake plane, other than that, it's much better. Hey guys, good morning. Today on Vintage Speed Garage, we're going to be doing a little, something a little different. Uh, I'm waiting on parts here for the 66 Mustang project, disc brake conversion. We uh, received bearings that were not the right size for the spindles that are on our car, so I've ordered the correct bearings, and once those get in, we'll go ahead and get those four piston calipers mounted up on the 66 Mustang. In the meantime, while we're waiting for that, we're going to walk down and see what Kevin's getting into with his big blue badass F-350 project. Uh, today he's working on the Hydro Boost setup where he's going to replace the vacuum assisted booster on his master cylinder with the Hydro Boost unit. Um, add the lines to plumb it into the steering box and into the power steering pump and while we have it all torn apart he's going to replace the power steering pump with a new one just to be sure. The Hydro Boost unit is a pretty simple device that uses pressure, uh, pressurized fluid from the power steering pump to operate the master cylinder and assist, give a power assist to the brake pedal as opposed to using vacuum manifold pressure um, to give that assist. The unit mounts to the firewall with four bolts just like the factory uh, vacuum booster does and uh, plums in line with a couple of uh, flexible fluid lines to your power steering box and to your power steering pump because it runs in line between the two. Kevin's already gotten started. He's probably halfway done with the project by now so we better get down there and take a look and see uh, if we can give him a hand with any of the work that he's doing uh, for this hydro boost conversion. And afterward if we still have some time we'll get his thoughts and feelings about the hydro boost setup uh, after getting it fully working and uh, see what he has to say about how it works as compared to the vacuum assisted brakes uh, currently on his F-350. So let's get to work. Which one? Top, bottom? Driver, stop. Alright, go ahead. Top, faster. Okay. Go ahead. Stuck it on video. Yeah. Good thing you're in charge of editing that video. <laughs> this is true. That'll never make the cut. <laughs> nah, that'll probably be my intro. Damn it! We've got several good things for the intro. <laughs> People are gonna be like, this guy. You guys are fucking idiots. This guy is a fucking moron. Why are you not? There we go. Oh, yeah. Is this bag on the fire, on the fender of the Mustang for the wiper fluid? Yeah. <laughs> That's how they did it. That's fucking awesome. Isn't that horrible? I'm Obviously, I gotta replace it, but the you know I can get a reproduction one, but it's like, do I really want to put that on a car that's gonna get driven? Like, who doesn't love Ford Blue, right? Chevy guys. Communist. That's you. <laughs> All those Chevy guys that watch uh, that watch my channel here. Yeah. 
all right it's still red hot but that's gonna do all right. yeah only one little spot I'd like to take down but all right we're good man that thing's gonna last a lifetime maybe all right so we just had Jim weld this together um, basically I had a rod that came with the hydro boost that during pre-assembly it looked like it was going to be too long and I got ahead of myself and outsmarted myself and cut it down an inch that I thought it was going to be too long. Once fully installed, pedal connected, uh, turns out it was that inch and a sixteenth that I cut off, it was that much too short. So we had Jim weld back on part of the original rod from the vacuum booster that we had ripped apart just to get the push rod out. Now we've got the adjustability at the end the vacuum booster had and now we've got an adjustable uh, push rod. That will go in between the Hydro Boost and the Master Cylinder. Now, which, you're going to throw the lines on them and open up some hoses. Cool. And that will probably actually pull that uh, pull that belt back off and just crank the pulley by hand to push fluid all the way through it. So when we start it up, it will suck itself dry and then burn up the pump right away. Good idea. Every once in a while. No. There's a crossover to this side. Oh, you're right there, right? Oh, yeah. Don't get carried away on me, Jim. Why is Dad to make it? Because the pedal is full of water. Dex, you don't have any clothes on, bud. Oh, he's got some, some dirt up the old butt crack, huh? That'll do it every single time. Kids have no shame. None. No shame in the game. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I can move it if it makes you feel more comfortable. I don't want you to go home and be like, fuck, I can't sleep because that shit's running in the completely wrong direction. No, no, no. It's my truck, maybe. <laughs> Mine, we don't care about. Oh, of course, this is a different size. Should be an inch and a sixteenth. What does that look like to you? That is uh, just a hair over an inch. Inch yeah. and sixteenth. Yeah. It's yeah. Uh, it's a little over, but we've got adjust adjustability. It's so. a little over the sixteenth. Uh, an inch. It, I, I don't think it was quite a sixteenth. All right. So, couple turns out then. I liked it because there was no plastic reservoir it was all you know one yeah, cast right. piece and actually it looked like it wasn't and I'd use the same one on my Jeep when I did uh, in fact both my Jeeps my white one and my uh, MJ I used that same master cylinder with four wheel discs on mm -hmm. both of them and it worked amazing but I bought one for this truck and tried to install it and I was having problems with the rear circuit, so I ended up giving up and just going back to this one. But I wish I'd kind of kept it and stuck it out with that. But it didn't have the fluid level sensor, and it didn't have mm, this plug for the yeah, cruise control. So uh, I think I could have figured out the cruise control part yeah. and been okay without the level sensor. But it's weird that. The cruise control sensors and the brakes. I mean, I guess that is what controls when the brake, or when the cruise control shuts off when you hit the brake. Yeah. Yeah, just one of those things that you could just. But it has to be uh, in line, or the crew, or the cruise control won't work at all. Just. The old one made that much noise? Oh, dude, it's... That's why I was so like, oh, I'm gonna switch to the Saginaw pump, but I didn't make it to uh, pick apart, so. Factory Ford's what I get. So it definitely does clean up the underside of the hood. Looks a lot nicer under there. Ha, ha, ha.
Maybe check fluid level now and see yeah. maybe it sucked down a bunch of power steering fluid. But like what I do like just from that short little drive is like when you would slam on the brakes with the vacuum, like you'd feel like you're just running out of pedal. Like no matter how much harder you push it, it's not gonna make it stop any faster. Yeah. But this like the further and further you push it, like it's hard to push, but it's harder to push, but it's also stopping the truck faster. Okay guys, well there you go. That's the HydroBoost brake install on Kevin's 94 Ford F350 OBS uh, with the 460 powered motor, the 460 gasser in it. Um, the HydroBoost unit that Kevin was shipped um, was for a 96 and later um, OBS. So it was for an F350, but it was for the uh, later model power stroke generation of F350 OBS. And although he put in a lot of research and ordered the right part numbers and whatnot, this is what he was shipped. So we had to kind of roll with the punches when the part was received. So that's why we had to do a little bit of modifications to the bracket and it didn't just bolt in as it was expected to. Uh, so we were able to modify the bracket pretty easily, raise those mounting holes that mount the hydro boost unit to the firewall. We raised those by 5 eighths of an inch to get the pedal rod in line with the pedal and uh, all was fine after that. The, the push rod that we had to cut down we just took from the old power brake vacuum brake booster. We cut the rod out of that, shortened it, kept the little adjuster and welded that onto the rod that Kevin was shipped that he had accidentally cut down a little too short. In the end though the install went pretty well. Uh, Kevin still got some air in the system that he's bleeding out to uh, try and get some of that pump line out of it. We're not sure if it's just the pump that uh, he installed, you know, is just a remanufactured pump. Maybe he got a bad one, or uh, or if that's air that's trapped in the system. So he's driven it a couple days since we did the install, and I need to need to follow up with him and see what his impressions are now after maybe bleeding some more air out of the system. And Kevin will be towing with that rig uh, very soon here. I think in a couple weeks he's got a trip. He's going to be pulling his big camping trailer and he's anxious to see how well the, the new Hydro Boost brakes stop his big uh, camping trailer uh, as opposed to the vacuum assisted brakes that he had before. So for today's video guys that's going to do it. That's a wrap. Thank you for watching. If you're new please click subscribe. We've got a lot more Ford OBS content coming for you and uh, if you think the video was halfway decent uh, minus the out of focus and overexposed parts I'm working on it I promise. Uh, give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.